days. <laughs> Living is set apart. Monopolizatically. Living is set apart. Monopolizatically. Living is set apart. Monopolizatically. And that's rough. Shrub, vegans, 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 vegans. And that's rough. Reminded they're going to see me. And then I'm going to get to you in Jesus' name. Thank you. This is Fashion and Style with me see, and the Bible says, For unto whomsoever much is given, of him shall much be required. So when much is expected, that means you have to preserve it well. In whatever capacity you can, you present it well. You protect that which means a whole lot to you. You protect it well, you nurture it well. Oh ladies, we are so beautiful. So extravagance simply means too much either too much exposure or too much coverage so you see the human body is so complex and beautiful and actually deserves a whole lot of appreciation and some show their appreciation by covering and it can be a belief system and some others bask in the beauty through carefully selected exposure and so there are categories in extravagance whereby it is more effect more adornment given to the clothing and in another part, you say a body part may be exposed to achieve a stylish gerald. So, for example, you can expose more of the arms or more of the legs. For example, you know, with the slits in a cutout, more of the chest. So, the caution statement to the chest remains the fact that whatever you're wearing should lay very well. And if it doesn't lay very well, then you should just ensure that you wear a covered and fit underwear you really don't want to have your whole boobies and your nips everywhere for everyone to see literally as beautiful as you want to showcase you want to showcase in, in a carefully selected exposure you want to make it something you appreciate and you want to present it well basically so either you shift the breast to the side or you could showcase the beauty by a cleavage basically so the other part is similar to the victorian era styled gowns you know they are extra vegan very extra the ball gowns the accessories the underwears the socks the shoes even the complexity with most of what they wear the gloves you know it's actually just simply elegant basically when you much is much is beautiful in its own way so for the fit underwear we can see you know just to just ensure this is an example of when ladies wear short skirts and then they are tight attached to some of those skirts and some they have to just get their own tight and in the middle we have those tights that look like your skin with the beautiful and the fashionable skin like Gerald. So one way or the other they protect them is if you're going to be wearing your short skirt to protect your legs and your private especially during the cold. The third part is the tights. So the panty liner or the cloth liner the whole aim is to actually protect your vagina area your lips especially in the first picture you could see that you could almost see a faint line there and as beautiful as we are we want to just like cover up in a way that it's just basic decency so if you're going to be wearing something fit you still want to just cover in a basic decent way like what's going on with the lady who is showcasing the beautiful swimwear there is a likeness there is a is it that it's attached to the swimwear or she attached it herself just so that you could protect and then this is an example of the Victorian era you know most of their dressing is on the extra extra vegan the frills the flounce the ruffles everything extra and then this the whole glitter example is the extra vegans here and you can see more of the back is exposed if you shift the hair to the side and the front may be a boat neck basically because that's how some of these dresses are and then for the chest you can see more of the chest is exposed but you know for dresses like that there's a way the 
he, you know, you know how they call it, say snatched. Yeah, there's a way to snatch at the waistline and also be very protective for the bust line, such that even if she's jumping, it just kind of stays almost glued, basically. And for the arms, you can see if she raises her hand up, you'll see there's a way it's going to show. So we're going to be the major part of extravagance today will be a comparison between the three style classes hint moderation extravagance and you see the truth remains that attractive when you say something is attractive it means it draws your attention and you can decide to either cover that which draws attention or you can bask in the glory that that attention brings which brings us to the three major categories and hints it involves hints basically you just want to have a glimpse of the glory and hint is it's more like you're saying i know it draws attention so let me try not to emphasize it too much and for the moderation it's more like according to occasion and fits the generally accepted style rules basically that means a conservative proceed and say oh well it's okay because this one was all on the extravagant style for the lifestyle and say oh well it's okay and you can see whether it's a belief system or not it's a lot of people would give the terms of that it's okay it fits it's okay it blends yes so you could say from a perspective you say oh well i'm just not according to the code i'm just in according to good norms in a way that is classically and generally accepted so like you said right away for the occasion and extravagance simply means too much exposure or coverage and so it reminds me of a particular celebrity. I remember I followed her on her journey when she was going through this heartbreak. And the truth remains that when she was going through this like really tough time, you know, let's just say that she wore more things that were way too exposed and she garnered a lot of criticism. And the more people fired at her, the more she fired back by wearing things that were, were way too exposed. Like the kind of clothing you shouldn't wear when you know your audience, basically overexposure is like saying i you are invited to a corporate event something that you should probably wear alone or maybe you're hanging out or maybe you're just performing or it's a scene on a set i'm wearing it to a corporate interview you know that was what she was doing and i noticed that when this lady began to heal crit um you know heal significantly nobody had to necessarily tell her because the criticism was actually much she began to reverts to a very not necessarily conservative because you know secular industry is 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 more favors more of exposure one way or the other you know vulnerability she began to dress less you know vulgar and more more you know moderate you know if she would expose her chest to be in a beautiful way she's going to wear a slit it's going to be gorgeous you know she just began to look like okay i've healed to a point where I had my mistakes, my past partner had his mistakes, and I'm better. So one way or the other, some days when you're hurting, you try and do things to make yourself hurt more, to garner criticism, and also the people who love you will critique you to the point that they are also hurting too. And that was what was going on because our fans were outraged, even people who loved her, how they were outraged basically. And so dressing can be seasonal. Dressing can be seasonal. It can be based on what you're going through. So just trust the process. And I'm a Christian. I encourage you to trust God. The comparison we've done in the following categories. Beach wear, evening events, wedding, the four seasons. Spring, summer, fall, winter. The Met Gala 2024. Just a brief and musical performance outfits. The beach wears. So for example, in the first part, you can see hints. Hint of the chest, hint of the bum. In the middle part, you see moderation. If she favors conservative style, she would be applauded. And then in extravagance, she, she covered up basically everything. And here, in the extravagance, you can see that there are more, there are more transparent parts. It's more extra. Anything that comes off extra comes off too much. That's what you call extravagance, basically. And hint here, it's more like hints of the chest and the mid region. The moderation, you can see the mid region. And in extravagance, you can see more of a chest out there. Hint, you know, 
it would be considered extravagant because with it in three cases so some people wouldn't favor wearing it it could be stated that the boss is on too much exposure and your panties have like double layer and all so that's the whole point it's extravagant it's actually beautiful just like you know if if you enjoy it and the environment you're in won't oppose it and you love it and it's beautiful you know and you wear it in a fit way i mean enjoying with enjoy your, your beauty, beauty basically. basically so hence you can see the tie slits you can see in the moderation there's hardly a slit there and extravagant everything is just extra gorgeous extra detailing they are all wearing similar outfits in the sense that it's the total neck ensemble but then there are differences hint of the chest here moderation it looks gorgeous and in extravagance you can see more of a bust outlined same thing more of a bust outline here for the prom outfits and for hint here it's more like you can see the way the transparent you know material the transparent netting material just gave a showcase of the arms so one way or the other even while you're looking at the fullness of the gown you're looking at her arms with how beautifully decorated it is by the transparent netting so extravagant you can see how um, extra the dressing is basically so you're hanging out with your friends with your people and you can see a hint of the bust there moderation she just looks okay for the event you know extravagant you know more of the back is exposed here you can see in hint she's wearing a dress it's like a tie example attached to it then in moderation she's wearing a skirt with a shirt with boots and an extravagant you can see the feather top and the sparkly skirt she's wearing basically it's extra physically extra and you can see here the way she did the the cleavage the way she wore the outfits stunning and her cleavage looks great in it and the dress is a good fit basically You can see the slits there. All these dresses are quite extra, but it's just to emphasize the difference between hint, moderation, extravagance. Extra, you go extra. Moderation, it's acceptable almost everywhere. Hint, you don't necessarily wear it everywhere. You could have special occasions you could wear it too. Hint is absolutely, completely, breathtakingly gorgeous in its own way. A moderation is simplicity at its finest. An extravagance is like, I go the extra mile basically. And that's what she did with the boss. Some people would actually wear a camisole with this. She still looks good, nonetheless. For the Met Gala 2024, I mean, a lot of people dressed gorgeous and beautiful. Gabriel Union's dress is absolutely gorgeous and no doubt it will be expensive. It will actually be expensive. And so this is not to downplay the work that has been put into all these dresses. It's just to put a comparison in the sense that if we're looking at it from the perspective of an outsider, then you say what Gabriel Union wore is almost expected. In the sense that it is so gorgeous and it is expected that you would dress gorgeously for the Met Gala. And extravagance, you'd expect that people would dress gorgeous. But I mean, Zendaya here is looking extra. And then hint, she just highlighted the arms basically and just wore something on the simpler side. You can see the slight side slit with Taylor Swift's clothing. And the moderation, there's actually a shot there. And then for extravagance, you know, it's like a swimsuit assemble, but the way it has been designed, you know, to look very beautiful. You know, even the work that has been put into this just makes it all the extra, basically. So basically, most of our outfits are extra. If you're going to talk about the price, the 
they are extra but if you're going to be doing a compare and contrast basically that's when you come with this and it's actually appropriate in a way for certain musical performances when Taylor Swift started singing she didn't start with this she started off more conservative even though she has always loved shiny things and gradually i mean whether it's the weather or the fact that she felt more free and she wanted to be fit and firm in her own way she began to wear dresses like this and it looks great on her we are not sexualizing her we enjoy her music and that's that yeah the extra big and you see it's quite on the extra side even though it's actually simple in a way you know so they are all wearing this suit example basically and the reason why it's hint is because it's more covered in a way moderation is it's covered in a way that you could say okay well it's okay it should be generally accepted and extravagant you can see all the cutouts basically in a clothing that hint doesn't have and so basically she wore this bomb shorts basically for her performance and moderation you know it kind of covers most of the time extravagance she's going all out for her musical performance basically and the bible says in luke 12 48 for unto whomsoever much is given of him shall much be required and to whom men have committed much of him they will ask the more and so trust god this is lecture tuesday and our topic is extravagance and this is fashion and style we may say thanks for listening thanks for watching hopeless that's a wrap baby <laughs>